Okay, so this reading is over Fredo Bang. Um, he did an interview with academics and he had several interesting things that he said that I'm gonna explore if this is true. The first thing I wanna say is y'all could have told me that man was that fine. I've seen Fredo plenty of times, but maybe it was just the outfit or the lighting in academics um, on the academic set, but uh, he, that man is handsome. I need to follow him, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to follow Fredo because that, like me, I have a thing for men with deep skin tones and his skin tone is just perfect. Like that is, the man is fine. That's all I gotta say. That's one fine man. And I ain't never gushed over nobody like that on this channel before. It's fine. And he, um, he did tell academics he got his teeth done and they look good. Like they look really good. I wanna get my teeth done so bad. But people are like, yeah, I had a pretty smile, but I still want veneers. I've always wanted veneers. And you know who got me on that? Nene Leaks. I like Nene's smile. She is the one that made me want some so bad. And that's when I first found out, like, what they actually were. So if anybody want to buy your girl some veneers, I would appreciate it. I have to give me a sugar daddy. So Fredo had an interview with DJ Academics. And the entire time... I can tell you one thing about him. He's spiritual. It's hard to kind of dip, dip into his energy because I was intuitively trying to read him just watching the interview and I couldn't tell if he was telling the truth or not. So this is these are some statements he made in the interview. He said he would do a song with YB. He said he would. He said he has nothing against YB. And he also said that in 2019, someone reached out to YB's camp and to his camp and wanted them to do... Um, to get the city of Baton Rouge back together and reconcile and like do music together or show together or something. He said the government stopped it. And I want to really know if the government stopped that reconciliation because that would have been a nice healing moment for the city and they need it more than anything now. Especially after that young man just got killed. I, what is what is his name? True Bleeder. He's like 18 or 19. And he was an up-and-coming rapper out of um, Baton Rouge. I'm not sure who was responsible for his murder, and I'm not here to dig into that, but it was just like that's what Baton Rouge didn't need. But there were allegations that he got into it with Ben 10, who is NBA, um, a few days before that. But there are also... Um, there's also information out there that his the whatever set he was with was into it with another set called The Vultures. So... At this point, it could be anybody. And I was like, this is just not what BR needs, okay? And the next thing he said, he, he made a song and he mentioned his cousin. And academics asked him, was that about Boosie? Because, you know, they say Boosie and Fredo Bang are cousins. He said, I got a lot of cousins. But let me just read. Let's just do this reading because I'm just interested to see. Um, so it was Fredo Bang telling the truth, Holy Spirit, when he said that he would do a song with NBA Youngboy. Was he telling DJ Academics the truth when he said that he would do a song with NBA Youngboy? Yeah, because his y'all have to watch the, the interview. <laughs> Either this man is a good liar or he was telling the truth. Okay. Cause I was like, I don't know. He seemed a little sincere, but something still something. The it's just, you know, blood has been shed. So it's like, I don't know if I could see him doing a song with YB. So holy, but you know, the cards, they say the cards never lie. But I acknowledge in my description box below that at any time I can be wrong. So n nothing in this reading is to be taken and presented as the truth. This is for entertainment purposes only. Is it true that um, Fredo Bang would do a song with YB? Was he telling DJ Academics the truth spirit? The Nine of Pentacles? The Ace of... Yes. This is a yes. So he was telling the truth. So like he okay, so if he ain't cap about that, he couldn't have talked. I can't believe this. He was telling the truth. Like he literally would do music with YB. And then behind that we have the lovers. We have the magician inverted, which isn't, but with this energy down, okay. Eight of Cups can indicate letting things go. Four of Swords, yeah, I'm just not on it. Like, resting, I'm just not on it, you know, anymore. But the good outweighs the bad. I think he literally would. I think he would do a song with YB. But this is what it would be. So even in the song, I feel like he would still throw a sneak diss at YB. But 
people would have a hard time attaching that to YB because it's like, can't be talking about YB because he don't song with YB. Um, I think Fredo Bang was telling the truth to DJ Academics when he said that he would do a song with YB. Was Fredo Bang um, being honest with DJ Academics when he said he had nothing against NBA Youngboy? Was he being honest with DJ Academics when he said he had nothing against? No, he wasn't. I got the Seven of Swords, which means deceit, being deceitful. So this is the thing. The Nine of Pentacles came out when I asked, would he do a song with YB? The thing about it is, at the end of the day, he's a businessman. Like, I'm going to get that money. Like, oh, I'm, but we ain't going to perform that song together. Um, I'm a barely promoted. I think he wouldn't mind in any way capitalizing off of a song between the two of them. But he wasn't telling the truth. There was deceit behind that statement because this is the Seven of Swords. But, I mean, you expect that. Like, any street dude ain't going to be just on there self-snitching. Yeah, I don't like him and da-da-da-da. Um, he didn't like the page of swords inverted. He didn't like, he think a academics is a gossiper, but he was being kind of, yeah, he's careful about any, he's, he's also being careful about anything he says, the page of swords inverted, because he know the police watching. He ain't stupid, but if he'll do a song with YB, that says to me, that's, that's very telling. He'll do it for, I don't think he would be doing it to reconcile. I think he definitely would be doing it to get money. Let me go get my eye drops, guys, because my eyes is hurting. For those of you who are long-time bells, y'all know that I have a chronic dry eye problem, so I have to put my drops in from time to time. And then when this light is on, it don't make it no better. This lighting I'm using so y'all can get a better look at me. Okay. So Fredo has absolutely no problem getting money with NBA young boy. He has no problem getting a bag with him. But he don't yeah, I think this is exactly but you know what? Honestly I don't know if I can say he was not being truthful because he said this to academics. He said, There is no issue. I just don't deal with him. And this is kind of what it is. It's like no, because there is an issue. There is an issue. There is an issue. And we all know what that issue is. Allegedly G Money who was he and um that's kind of what true bleed of death remind me of g money um because he was about the blow and he's he's out of baton rouge and he was friends with fredo bang and he's tbg he was killed unknown by by who but he was into it with nba young boy so the thing is they were all friends at one point like fredo said fredo was incarcerated when g money got killed he said i came out from being incarcerated and then YB wasn't cool with TBG anymore. And allegedly, they, they're linking G Money's death to the NBA Young Boy camp. I can't say that's, whether that's true or not. I'm not going to dig into that. Um, so, that's why, that's probably what the beef is about G Money's death. And G Money isn't the only friend that Fredo has lost. He's also lost, what is that young man's name? I cannot, Boulevard Quick. Boulevard Quick is, um, he's short and fair skinned. He was also a rapper and he's, um, he was killed in Baton Rouge. So they were like the, the big three out of TBG and now Fredo is like the last man standing, honestly. So he lost two close friends. And Boulevard Quick died a few weeks after getting into it with NBA Youngboy's mom. But like I said, we don't know who, who killed him because I'm certain that they're, they have beefs with other people as well. Okay. That's, yeah, so I do, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where the... He does have something against YB because of those allegations that NBA Young Boys Camp was involved in G Money's murder. Those are allegations. I'm not saying it's the truth. So he also stated that someone, I think he said it was a police officer in 2019 spirit, tried to reconcile YB's camp and um, TBG, Fredo and them. Is that true? But he said the government stopped it. Did the government prevent this reconciliation? Because to me, that's just telling me that they enjoy us killing each other off. Because them reconciling would have did a lot for the city. Is it true that the government stopped it? But he said that him and YB were both on papers and the judge had to approve it.
It is true because the Ace of Swords has come out. I think they were really unsure about what to. Yeah. So this is the thing. I think the government was, was fine with a truce being made between the two camps, but they weren't going to be the ones to do it. That's messed up. That's messed up. Because, I mean, who else is going to bring them, them together besides the police? Please, he said as a police officer. Okay, so somebody became uncooperative. It could have been that the government was trying to really do it, but then one party, yeah, came uncooperative. Thank you, Spirit. This is coming out. So something happened, some incident happened that stopped them from moving forward. Someone was killed. Who got killed in 2019? Something, something significant happened that prevented them from move, pushing the issue any further. Was Boulevard Quick killed in 2019? So I'm going to say that's when he was killed. He was killed in 2018. In November of 2018. And okay, so I'm not aware of anyone that was murdered in 2019. It could have, I don't know what it is. It could have. But some significant event happened, and that's what stopped the reconciliation. It looked like it was a murder, but I don't know. But I'm not. But the only people, like I said, I know. I can't think of anybody that died in 2019 in either of those camps. Oh, no, 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 dump. NBA Young Boys, um, he's family to dump. He was his manager. So Dump was killed in 2018 too. Yeah, Dump was killed in May of 2018. Boulevard Quick was killed in no that November. And it was alleged that Boulevard Quick was one of the people that was in the car when Dump was shot. I do remember that. See, I'm just giving y'all all to see. You can there's plenty of YouTube documentaries on it. But it's like something else happened in 2019. I don't know. What happened in 2019? Like I said, I, it, it looked like a maybe it was just a death we didn't hear about. I told you guys, and it's coming back out again, the Ten of Swords. That's death. It was like bad. But it was like whatever, whoever died, it wasn't the other camp. Like, if you think that it was them, it wasn't them. This really was like, the, okay, thank you, Spirit. That person got into it with somebody, and that person came back to get them. That person ain't from the other camp that they were trying to reconcile with, if that makes sense. So if it was somebody for NBA Young Boys camp that was murdered, whoever killed them, it wasn't somebody from Fredo and them side. This was someone they got into it with and this person held a grudge and they came back and killed them. That's what that was. It was just like, it was like wrong place, wrong time. It was over something petty, something extremely petty. What is this? Yeah, the star inverted. It was disappointing. Yeah, it was um, it was like they shouldn't have even been killed over killed over this. Yeah, but it wasn't Fredo and him. YB, I could say that. It was something petty that got that person killed. And if y'all know who that person is, well, it don't matter. Because I'll leave the comments open. But I do think the government tried to work with them, but I think someone one one side stopped cooperating after a major event. Um, so was the song in, was the line in Fredo's new song about Boosie? Or about someone else. Because he said, I got a lot of cousins. And I mean, that's true. But that ain't what... Let me see. Okay, so if we're going to do Six of Wands and then the Six of Cups. Six of Wands is energy representing um, someone in the spotlight. So it was about Boosie. If you ask me. But let me... Let me yeah, it had to be. Give me more. Thanks. Pa it was passive aggression. Yeah, it was passive aggression. Then three of pentacles inverted. That's Boosie. Remember Boosie got Fredo kicked off of that show they were supposed to do together? Three of pentacles inverted is lack of working together. And then you take the chariot inverted. That's like passive aggressiveness because you didn't want to work with me. You got me kicked off the show. That line was about Boosie. So...
for the most part, I would say he was, he kept it real for the most part. He just didn't incriminate himself. Let's say that. Um, because I mean, it would make, like, I wouldn't sit up and academics ain't nothing but the feds any fucking way. Him and, um, what's the other boy name? Vlad. I don't even know why y'all still deal with Vlad. Um, Ply's been told them about Vlad and they just love him. But you can't tell me Vlad ain't a fed. You just can't, because he wants to know every. I mean, if you on, if you go on, go on that show, you basically telling them, Rico me. Come Rico me. Please. I am the head of, like, because Vlad be saying all kind of police stuff and swear he ain't, he messy. He just like a woman. Yes, and I think that's what bothered me the most about him. His his mask his not his not his masculinity, his femininity. Femininity. Look at me checking somebody, I can't even say it. Like, yeah, his feminine act, how he be acting like, like a whole female up there, just gossiping and giggling and shut up. Yeah, you know, uh, and he be asking them leading questions. And Boosie gone Vlad quite often. That's where we get our best Boosie um gifts and shit from. Vlad's interviews with him. And um we that's I don't know guys I think Fredo just wasn't trying to incriminate himself but honestly he did tell the truth about the YB situation I think that it is not settled but I think it's to the point I don't know if Fredo is focusing on the beef with him and YB like he was so that brings me back to when I did the other reading with them who is the person that Remember I said, did YB and Boosie reading like that about their relationship and that it was someone that doesn't like them that's out to get them? Who is that person? Because I don't know. I can't say that's Fredo because his energy really doesn't. Let me see. If presented the opportunity, what would Fredo do to YB? If he had the opportunity, what would he do? Let me see. What is this? He can't let it go. Okay, so he probably. That's crazy. So the only thing he would be willing to do is get a bag with him. He will FYB's girlfriends if he could for sure do. It. Yeah. But why would you still Okay, so this is strictly a business move. I'm just willing to make money with you, but I was if given the opportunity. I'm hearing I ain't on no police shit, man. I just heard that. Yeah, he was trying to protect himself. But I'm rambling now. Let me go and stop. I got to, I'm going to do this next reading. I love you guys.